Hello everyone and welcome to Entech. Now that we are familiar with the Raspberry Pi Pico and we also saw how to solder male header pins to the Pico so that we can connect it to the breadboard to make projects, it is now time to finally make our first project using the Pico board. Mount the Pico on the breadboard. I have used 6 LEDs with 330 ohm current limiting resistors. You can use a resistor of higher or lower value depending upon the brightness of the LED you want. The pin numbers of the GPIO pins are not printed on the upper face of the Pico, but I made a diagram with all the pin numbers so that I can refer to it while making the connections. I will leave a link in the description below so that you can refer to the diagram too while making the connections. Connect the first LED to GP16, the next to GP17. Connect the ground pin to all the resistors, the third LED to GP18, then GP19, GP20, and the last LED to GP21. Next, we are going to download the UF2 file. So for that, hold and press the boot cell button. The Pico appears as a USB storage drive on the computer. Click on the index file and it will take us to the Raspberry Pi website from where we will download the UF2 file. Uh, from under the getting started with MicroPython, you will see this download UF2 file option. So click on it. Uh, save the file to your computer, open the file and drag it to our Pico file. Once the file is being copied, our Pico is ready to be programmed with MicroPython. Now to write the code, we will need an IDE. So I've, we are going to use the Thony software. I have already installed it on my computer, but if you haven't, I will drop the link in the description below. Now the current interpreter is the same interpreter which runs Thony. This is set by default, but we will need to change it to MicroPython for Raspberry Pi Pico. And once you have changed it, the message appears that now and now our Raspberry Pi Pico is. Now that the setup is ready, let's write our first code, uh, which will be to blink the LED on the board. So from machine import pin. Um, so this line imports the pin function from the machine library, uh, which contains in, uh, instructions the MicroPython needs to communicate with the Pico and from u time import sleep and this line imports the sleep function from the u time library the u time library handles everything that has to do with time next we will set the pin mode so led is equal to pin 25 comma pin dot out so this line defines an object LED and the second part calls the pin function from the machine library. The first argument 25 is the number of the pin that we're setting up. So the LED on the board is connected to GP25 and the second part pin dot out tells Pico that the pin that we're using should be used as an output pin and not an input pin. While true LED dot toggle uh, the toggle simply switches state between on and off so if the pin is currently on then it, it will switch it to off and if the pin is currently off then it will switch it to on i'll also give a delay of 0 0.5 seconds so our led will turn on and off after every half a second run the code and you have two options to save this program either in your computer or in the raspberry pi pico so I will save it in the Pico and now the program will be stored in our board. 
so if you carry it ev- uh, anywhere you just need to provide it with a supply and the code will run automatically so you do you won't need your computer for that led blink okay right now that we have tested our first code let's try and make some different patterns with external leds so the first two lines of the code are exactly the same as they were of the previous code then i uh, defined six different variables for each of the six leds and i used the gpio pins from gp16 to gp21 and set their pin mode to output then in the first cycle uh, i set the value of the pins for the odd led for the odd number of leds to 1 and simultaneously switched off the even number of leds i gave a very short delay of 0.5 seconds so that the switching between the turning off and on of the leds happens very quickly giving it the damping effect then in the next cycle i did just the opposite i set the value i set the output level of pins connected to even leds to 1 and that of the other leds to 0 again with a very short delay of 0.5 seconds so this pattern uh, keeps r- will keep repeating until i switch the stop button and in this pattern i gave the command to blink the led one by one until it reaches the last led and then we start from the first led again up to the fifth led then up to the fourth led then third then second and then the first led till the point where all the leds are on then i gave a delay and switched off all the leds together So this is one easy project that you can try if you are new to microcontroller boards. If you guys have tried this project or any other project using Pico then let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button if you like this video so that I know that you guys want to see more videos based on Pico projects. And if you are new to the, this channel then don't forget to subscribe to Entech.